Question 1. With the aid of technology, find the equation of the line that passes through the following points. We're looking at x equals negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0, all the way up to 6, and y is 1, 0, negative 1, all the way up to negative 5. What we're going to do is we're going to use technology to figure out the values if we put it in the form of y equals mx plus c. So we're effectively trying to figure out the values of m and the values of c. Now the question itself says use technology, so what we're going to use in this question is Desmos, so this application here. Now to do it, all we need to do is, I'm going to click on this plus here, and then I'm going to go table, and we're going to input the table that we see in the document over here, over into Desmos. What that will do is it will plot all of our points, and it will make it such that we're able to see a visual representation of what the line will look like. So putting those points in, all right, the points are in. And what we can see is that these points here, they all sort of line up such that you could draw a straight line through it. So that's going to be our next step. I'm going to type in y equals mx plus c, and we don't know the values of m or c yet, that's what we're going to deduce. So Desmos is quite smart and it already knows that's what we want to do. So it says, do you want to add sliders for m and c? So we add both of those in. This will give us a black line like such. All right, now the next challenge is we want to get this red line to lie on top of all of these dots. First thing I'm going to do that is I'm going to look at the y-intercept of the line, and at the moment it's at 0, 1. What we want to do is move it down to this point here, 0, minus 2. The way in which we're going to do that is we go to the value of c, and we start either increasing it, if this dot is above the line, or we decrease it if it's below the line. In this case, it's below, so I'm going to start reducing it. Done. So the line itself passes through this y-intercept here now, 0, minus 2. Next step is we want to get the line such that it's going to lie on top of all of these dots. The way in which we do that is by changing the slope. Now, if I increase the value of m, the line itself is going to get more steep. If I decrease it, it's going to become less steep until it becomes completely horizontal and it's going to start going downwards. What we want to do is keep moving it and therefore we get it to line up all of these dots. So what we can see is that this line now cuts through all of these dots and therefore the line itself describes the linear relationship between the variables x and the variables y here. Now looking at the values of m and c down here, we're able to deduce the equation or the relationship y equals mx plus c. So in this case, m is equal to negative 0.5 and c is equal to minus 2. Moving those back over into document, we get m is equal to negative 0.5 and c is equal to negative 2, and therefore our linear relationship is going to be negative 0 0.5 my, or x minus 2. So if we plug values into x here, what we'll find is that for any value of x we plug into this equation, the value of y will match up with what's seen in the table above here. So this has been a short video of how we can use technology to help us deduce the linear relationship or the equation of a line.